there is a thing about a refraction of light. What is refraction of light? What is the refraction of light? It is a property by which light bends, light bends in passing from one optical density to another optical density. And that is one optical medium to another optical medium. One of three we have a refraction of light. So whenever a ray of light traveling from one medium to another medium of different optical density is called then this is called refraction of light and energy. So this is the element is normal. Mn is normal. X y x y. So this is x y surface of operation. So A B is the incident ray. Incident ray. So A, B, C. This is R, angle of refraction. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of incidence. So angle of refraction is there for me. So A, B, C is there. Here M is the number. A, B, A, B is in centre. A, B is in centre. B, C, B, C is refracted there. B, C is refracted there. So x y x y interface inter interface or surface of operation interface or surface surface of operation of operation you can tell me so this is medium one so medium two. So this is the rarer medium. Rarer, this is the denser medium. In the end, it is basically rarer and then denser. Rarer medium, which medium to which velocity applied is maximum compared to the emitted medium. Denser medium, maximum by C is equal to 3 million to the power of 8 meter per second. 3 is equal to 8. So C is equal to 3, that is the last step by constant. 8 meter per second, 3 into the power of 8 meter per second. So, okay. so this is medium 1, medium 2. Whenever a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium of different optical density, the, the, the refractive ray bends in its path. That means the ray bends in its path or changes its direction. So, Chetananda is called refraction of light. Whenever, once again, whenever the light travels from one medium to another optical medium, another optical medium of different optical density, the ray changes its direction or the change its path, such a property of light is called refraction of light. This is what is the cause? What is the cause of refraction of light? What is the cause for refraction? What is the cause? When another ray of light travels from one medium to another medium, so velocity changes. When velocity of light in the other medium is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second, in the other medium is something other less than the other medium. That it is less than 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. It will depend upon medium. So, in the refraction of light, in the case one of 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 the case
angle of incidence will be A B M. A B M is equal to I angle of incidence. N B C. N B C is equal to oh, angle of refraction. This is change of uh, difference in angle. That is D. Difference in angle. That is angle D. That is the D equal to difference in angle of incidence to so change in change in angle or difference in angle between angle of incidence and angle of refraction is called angle of deviation is called angle of deviation so very important thing like now first case ali now refer madbeka thumba important point andre no thumba important idu marivadu whenever a ray travels from rarer to denser medium rarer to denser medium velocity that is v1 v2 v1 is greater than v2 that is v2 is less than ours v2 is less than v1 velocity applied in denser medium decreases compared to that in rarer medium hence angle of incidence is greater than angle of refraction here i minus that means i minus r i minus r so that is angle of deviation in case of ray of light travels from rarer to denser medium So second case. So second case is case second. Consider again the surface of separation. Surface of separation. The angle of incidence. That is the denser medium, medium two. So medium one. Sorry, medium one. This is medium two. Okay. So M N is the normal. M N is the normal. X Y. X Y is the surface of separation. X Y is the surface of separation. So that way, when this is denser medium. Denser medium is the rarer medium. When our array travels from denser to rarer medium, then our keyboard will write that. When our array of light travels from denser to rarer medium, the refracted ray bends away from the normal. Normal is the zero point. The refracted ray bends away from the the refracted ray bends away from the normal. Away from the normal. This is the angle of deviation. This is all. This is the right angle of incidence. This is right angle of incidence. So here V1. This is V1. V2. V1 will be the last gap in the denser medium. V2 will be the last gap in the rarer medium. Whenever they suppose A, B, C, A, B, C, any point. A B C A B is the incidental angle. A B incidental. B C refracted angle. B C refracted angle. X Y X Y surface of separation. Surface of separation. Y Y B C is equal to R angle of refraction. Y A Y B Y angle angle of incidence angle of incidence here so d here d d is equal to r minus r minus i d here you know that when a ray travels from denser to rarer medium whenever ray of light travels from denser to rarer medium the refracted ray b c bends away from the normal So away from the normal. This is because velocity of light in the in the rarer medium increases when the ray travels from denser to rarer. Rarer medium will velocity just is the denser medium will velocity cutting it. So hence, so angle of refraction it increases compared to that in angle of incidence in the denser medium. So second case, first case is very important. You are interested in that. Whenever a ray of light travels from one medium to another medium, whenever a ray of light travels from one medium to 
another again the very very lens of the refract of the bends towards the lamp so here the angle of here the angle of the in incidence is greater than the angle of refraction when case of in the case of when the ray the ray travels from there to denser medium the angle of incidence is always greater that is d angle of deviation the difference in the angle of refraction and angle of incidence here i is greater than r so in case of in case 2 when ray of light travels from denser to rarer medium medium 1 velocity of light v1 in medium the denser to rarer medium the refracted rays travel from the normal this is because Velocity of light increases in the denser to rarer medium, so angle of refraction also increases. Here, d is equal to r minus i, so angle of deviation. So, first to go through this one. So, in the angle of deviation, what is the angle of deviation? We have to know difference in angle between the angle of incidence and angle of refraction. This is called angle of deviation. It is denoted by d. It is denoted by d. So note that it is a separate property. You know, bending the property of bending is called ability or the ability of ability for bending is also called refrangibility because of refraction. Refrangibility. 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 Ability of bending is called refrangibility. The refrangibility is different for different types. For in the so in the other one there is. Very Yeah. 
velocity of light to medium 1 to velocity of light to medium 2 medium 2 is, is also related to refractiveness also students uh, refractiveness refractiveness can be defined as the ratio of the velocity of light to medium 1 to velocity of light to medium 2 that can be determined as V1 to V2, V1 to V2. So, so optical refractive index and relative refractive index. Optical refractive index. So, velocity to the uh, light travels from light travels from C to V. C to V. That means light travels from rarer medium to denser medium. It is defined as the ratio. Velocity of light in the velocity of light is rarer. So, denser and the velocity, rarer the in the tensile medium, okay, travel of the sun or the nanotech is related to the object of the factor index. That means, rare with respect to medium with respect to air or light. It is called object of the factor index. That means, object of the factor index, if the factor index is of a medium is measured, measured with respect to medium, air or vacuum, is called related to the object of the factor index. The refractive index is measured with respect to air and vacuum is called object refractive index that is mu is equal to C by V and that is mu is equal to C by V is medium with that C by V. It is defined the object refractive index can also be defined as the velocity of light in medium in medium air or vacuum to velocity of light in any medium given medium. What is the relative refractive index? What is the relative? Refractive index that means related to refractive index mu 1 mu 2 or mu 2 1 is equal to v 1 by v 2. First time of the saga in the So if refractive index of a medium with respect to if medium 2 with respect to medium 1, medium 1 is defined as the ratio of the velocity of light in medium 1 to velocity of light in medium 2. This is given, this is determined as medium 1 to medium 2. So that is the medium 1 to medium 2 when rate travels from medium 1 to 2. So limitation of students part. Limitation of students to area Steps to area with that. Steps to are not applicable for normal incidence in the air with that. It is air with that. So here it is the normal incidence. So normal here it is the normal So here it is the normal incidence. So for normal incident, theta is equal to 0. So I will say that theta is equal to 0, that is i is equal to 0. i is equal to 0, r is equal to 0. That means, uh, that means, uh, sin n by, sin n by sin r, sin n by sin r is equal to u, sin 0, sin 0 by sin r is equal to 0. So, 0 is equal to 0, that is the area that is equal to 0. So, steps by is not applicable for angle of incidence is normal or zero. So, tens of slightly to steps by is steps by is basically expect for normal incidence of steps by. So, limitation of steps by is very difficult because steps by is not applicable for normal incidence. Steps by is not applicable for the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Critical angle is the job statement. So next, refractive index, refractive index, so go down there. So refractive index is greater for violet and least for red. Refractive index is independent of angle of incidence number 2. So n is equal to c by v, r v is equal to c by v, c by v. That means since speed of light in vacuum is always greater than the speed of light in any given medium, optical medium, hence optical refractive index of a medium is always greater than 1. That means mu is greater than 1. 1 is the just in the So next one is, uh, next one. n is equal to 1 for all a. n is equal to 1 for all a. n is equal to 1.33 for water, n is equal to 1.5 for that is mu is equal to n is equal to 1 mu r that is mu is equal to 1 for air, mu is equal to 1.33 for water, mu is equal to 1.5 for glass, 